Welcome to IC3D training video, Lighting and Environments. IC3D lighting functionality uses a technology called image-based lighting, or IBL, to light and render scenes. The lighting window controls the lighting attributes of the object and its environment. In order to show the lighting effects, click and drag a reflective object into the 3D view. The 3D image is initially displayed on a gray background by default. The can currently has a brushed silver effect which shows a limited amount of reflection. Adding a silver chrome material effect from the material library shows the reflectance and lighting environment based upon the default lighting conditions in the lighting window. Different environments can be selected from the drop-down menu. Several environments are included with IC3D, such as Basic Diffuse and a selection of store environments for a realistic display of the packaging model. Selecting the Environment Map checkbox in the lighting window displays the Environment Skybox behind the model. As the 3D object is moved, the 3D environment moves with it. Illuminant lighting control sliders are used to adjust the lighting on the 3D object itself. A diffuse contribution slider controls the overall effect of the environment on the 3D object, sliding to the right for a lighter effect and to the left for a darker effect. A contrast slider control allows a lighter or darker contrast. A brightness slider also works similarly, with a brighter effect to the right and a darker effect to the left. The background environment map can be deleted using the Delete button, after which the background defaults to the next map in the list. The environment can be switched off by clicking the Color Background checkbox. New environment maps can be added to the library by using the Import Environment icon and browsing to an HDRI or EXR file. A progress bar appears as the environment is built up. The imported high dynamic range imaging can be made and displayed in Photoshop, which shows a fisheye view of the skybox environment being created. The new environment appears in the Environment drop down menu and can be selected. Checking the Environment map box displays the new environment. The background can be changed from an environment to a color with the option of creating a gradation effect from a top and bottom color. Clicking the top color opens the ink manager, which in this case is configured to a white color. The 3D view shows the gradation effect. Clicking on the bottom color opens the ink manager, which can also be configured to a white color. The reflectance on the object is not affected by this color change, as it maintains the lighting attributes of the selected environment. Brand logos can be added to the 3D view by importing a background image. The logo can be aligned in the view using the drop-down alignment menu. Select the background image import icon to import a JPEG or PNG file. The logo appears as configured in the top left of the 3D view. This can be adjusted using the alignment drop-down menu to top right, bottom left, bottom right, or centered to suit. Provided that your logo image is transparent, the environment map will show through the image when the checkbox is selected. Artwork can be added to the can and it will take on the attributes of the lighting environment. A shrink label is added to the can and then linked to Illustrator. The label document will appear in Illustrator to the dimensions of the shrink label. The artwork can be placed within the Illustrator document. Transforming and adjusting the artwork in Illustrator allows the user to position the artwork so that it displays correctly onto the can. Select the Update IC3D button in Illustrator and the artwork will appear on the can in the 3D view. The material surface of the can is editable. In order to increase the shininess of the artwork displayed on the can that is reflected in the lighting environment, the ring pole can be changed to an orange material similar to the artwork.
This completes the IC3D training video Lighting and Environments.